Hello and welcome to another video of Web3.js tutorials. Do it yourself. In this video, I'm going to talk to you how to how to listen to events, live events on a contract. So what we will do is uh, we will go to the Gorley testnet and uh, we are going to go to Gorley testnet, which is Gorley.etherscan and search for a token. So search for a token. And whatever the token comes up on the list, pick one. I'm just going to pick Flux token. So I got this Flux. And you would see, I'm just going to decrease it a little bit here. So you, I'm going to see contract here. So click on the contract. And you would see events. So what we will do is we will listen to the live events of this contract with the block. So these are the transactions and events on the contract. So I'm going to copy the, the contract. I'm going to copy the contract number here and I go back. So I'm going to use the previous code that we had from our pre previous video where we executed the deposit crypto transaction. Please look at the previous video. So in here, instead of this contract address, I'm going to push the new contract address of this token. Next, there are so many blocks and so many transactions. I'm not going to want wanting to you know have all the blocks listed. So I'm going to let's say take the top five. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's say around this. I'm going to copy the block number as well. And I'll show you where I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to copy this for my reference. OK. Now, let's quickly go through the code, what this code is doing. This is setting up a variable require ethereum jx.tx.transaction. This is a library that is loaded. We need Web3, obviously. We also need the Gurley Infura URL. Infura URL. This is a constant, and this is also in the secrets. So on the Ripple IT, under the secrets, I have this Gurley Infra Infura URL. Chain name, and then I am creating a new Web3 Gurley, Inf Gurley Infura URL, okay? Now, I'm creating, I'm just putting from account, from my MetaMask account, and then I'm also getting the private key as a secret from here. So this is a secret private key from account. Wonderful. Next is I needed some constants that I created on a different file. I had contract ABI that I need, and I need contract data. I don't need it for this one, but I just had it from my previous. The contract address of the token, this is the Flux token here. If you wanted to go take a look, you could do that on Gorley testnet, and then constant contract handler. This is a contract handler. I'm passing contract ABI and the contract address. So contract ABI and the contract address. Wonderful. Next, I'm going to get rid of the entire thing here, and I'm going to read events. So I'm going to do contract address dot get past events. And here, I'm going to read all the events which happened. So I'm going to say all events, comma. And then I can say from and to block. So I'm going to say from block. And I'm going to give this number to it because I'm going to read from this block and to block, I'm going to say latest. Put a comma, and then I'm going to push out. So I'm going to say push the output. So error and events. Push this to console.log events. That's it. Now. Let me run it. So I'm going to put some get the past events. OK. And what is this saying? OK. 
get past events does not exist. Okay, let me give it a shot. Oh, here. So I need to put the contract handler. So instead of contract address, I need to put contract handler dot get past events. Good one. So this is Ripple IT is helpful in order to get all those details. So contract handler dot get past events, all events, the block number and the latest, and I'm gonna run it. And you would see on the output screen here that all the events have been this shown. So you, this is useful when you wanna find out and track what's it, what is happening on a contract and any anom anomalies on anything else can be quickly listed down. So look at this block number 7231635. So 7231635, this is the block number. Let's look at some other blocks. So let's look at 7245398. So 7245398, it says that, uh, look at uh, this one, uh, timestamp or transactions mined by difficulty and if you go here, transaction index, block number, events, signature, and so on and so forth. So you see all the details which you would expect to be here, it's copied. And you can run this as a cron job, as a batch job to get all the events that is happening on a contract. Again, thank you for watching.